My special guest angler is Hal Schaefer of the Outdoor Channel's program Drop Zone. Listen, before we get started about what you're doing now, I, I, I want everybody to understand about your background. I told everybody you're an Atlanta, uh, Alabama boy. You started uh, hunting and fishing at an early age, and, and now you've been able to take uh, what was a passion and a hobby, and you made a career out of it. So how, how, did, it all, how did it all come about? You know, Rick, it is, a, it is kind of a unique story. Um, I worked in some, some real stressful jobs uh, early on. Um, I actually started in the, the car business for a long time, working 100 hours a week. And, man, when I'd get a chance to go hunting, it, would, it was rare, but it was – it was such a, 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 a passion of mine, and it was such a, a, a calming release that allowed me to keep doing what I was doing. I mean, it was, it was like you were just worshiping the day that you were going out into the woods. And I, I was doing a, 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 all of my own radio commercials and all my own TV commercials for the, for the dealerships, and they seemed to be resonating well with the public. And so the owner of the of the radio station said, Hey, we've got some people asking, man, they would love to have your energy on their commercial. Would you voice our commercials for them? I went, well, yeah, sure. I figured they were just desperate for talent. But, uh, I, so I, uh, I, I started doing that and, um, just got real, uh, a lot of demand on that end. And, and he come to me, he goes, you know, we need to do a, a, a radio talk show with you. What would you doing on? I said, if I'm going to do a talk show, it's going to be about my love, and that's going to be about the outdoors. And Carolina Outdoors was was then started. So a a lot of the TV networks, the bigger TV networks, were noticing, hey, this is this is a guy that has an outdoor ear, whose audience is our demographic, and nobody else is doing this. Uh, So we started doing a lot of advertising, having a lot of special guests like. Jackie Bushman and Bill Jordan and, and, and different guests, Kale Yarbrough, uh, uh, the guests were across the board. And then, so a lot of the sponsors from TV started getting involved in this. And then finally, one of the guys that a uh, gentleman by the name of Mike Cooley, who started the sportsman channel said, man, he says, I just want your personality on TV. He said, look, I'll fix it. I'll set it up. We'll, we'll, we'll put you on TV you plan your what your uh, outdoor excursions are going to be, and I'll put you on TV. A buddy of mine that was doing the saltwater fishing report on on Carolina Outdoors Radio Network called me and said, "Hey, he goes, do you have a first guest for your first show you're going to film, and what are you going to film?" I said, "I have no idea, Mike. I have no idea, no idea." <laughs> and he goes, "Well, let me help you out." He goes, "Dan Marito listens to your radio show when he's in town, and he and he loves it." And I told him you were going to TV. So he wants you to film a show with him and his two boys down here shark fishing off the coast of Charleston. I said, all right, done deal. I said, when? He said, he'll be here tomorrow. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't have a cameraman. So uh, I kid you not, I, I, I got up from the table. I went to a professional audio video store and rented a bunch of production equipment and, and got a buddy of mine to go with me. And we stayed up all afternoon, all night, didn't sleep, learning how to run this camera and use the mics properly, and then went out at daybreak and met them on the dots and filmed the shark fishing show with Dan Marino. That was my very first show. That's the ultimate never let them see you sweat story. (laughs) (laughs) I tell a lot of young people all the time, if if you want to have success in life, number one, identify your gifts. And, and, and so, you know, you, you identified several gifts. I mean, one gift was you had a, a deep love for the outdoors and for hunting. Secondly, you had a gift of being able to be conversational where people that also have that love can relate to it. And then when I watch your shows, look, nobody, you can't script a hunt. I mean, no. it's the ultimate <laughs> Mother spontan- Nature. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, I don't care what you, you think. I mean, something is going to happen that you don't expect. And I think that's what makes Drop Zone so unique is that it's so real. You've taken what I call the spontaneity of radio and you've brought it to broadcast. I can't thank you enough today for sharing your time and your stories with us from the bridge. 